another set of twins. <laughs> Runs in the family. Okay, hey, look what she's got. Anybody know what this animal is? No, clothes. Okay, it's a guinea pig. This is a guinea pig. Now, a guinea pig comes from a, the South America. It comes from a mountain country. So you notice it has sort of thick fur, doesn't it? We have two of these here at the center. And not all guinea pigs are colored alike. Our other guinea pig's color is this color right here. And it, the whole body is this color. I've seen the whole body. You very seldom see a white guinea pig. I'm totally white. But I have seen them the darker color, too. Most are the party color. have lots of colors. Do you have any idea what a guinea pig might eat? Yes, guinea pigs like grass. They eat a few seeds and things like that. Basically grass. Oh, do you eat grass? Yes, you do. You, I bet your mom gives you salads and green vegetables, and they're all grasses. They're, they're not the kind you walk out here in the yard and get. <coughs> they are grasses. <coughs> what else do we want to talk about? Anything I think is major about that? <laughs> well, he is a boy, <coughs> and she's going to bring him around. Now you touch animals at the zoo with two fingers, and you never, ever touch any animal that isn't your own pet on the head. You always start behind the head and go towards the tail. And you can use two fingers to touch. Caroline, you want to touch? She'll let you touch. Okay. Right. Now, if them. We'll get all the children and then we'll get the adults because you adults are just children at heart. You're just children at heart. Now the other way, that's right. He's 20 years old. He's 20 years old. He 
He's a rough-scaled sand boa from India, Pakistan, the Middle East. He lives in the sand. Can the sand be hot? Can sand be hot? Yes. So he likes to bury himself and just have his nose and his eyes sticking out. Some people call him a sand submarine. Now, uh, he is a rough scale. So his, he doesn't feel like many of the snakes you'll feel because he's not smooth. Always with the snake, you go from the head to the tail if you're going to touch it because that way you won't turn the scales back. Anybody ever turned a fingernail back? Yeah. Well, that's what you would be doing to a lot of scales if you go the other way. So we ask that you only go. Now, I will have the head so he cannot get to you. And this snake, even if he did bite, which I don't think he ever has, it, wouldn't, it would hurt a little bit, just like some sort of insect bite, but he is not venomous. We do not handle any venomous snake. So, would you like to touch two fingers and down his back? From this hand to this one, go down from the top to the bottom. That's right. That's right. Would you like to touch? That's right. That's, go that way. That's right. And that's what you need to ask for. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. And we never make anybody touch over there. We never make anybody touch. Oh, the two of you a minute ago. Oh, Ah, yes. Would you like to tell you? Longer, which I guarantee. This is one of our favorite things. <laughs> oh, come on, people. It's like touching a piece of sandpaper. You don't want to touch? No. Sir, would you like to touch? Now, other snakes are smoother. The ball python is rough. You want to touch? I'm a white snake. Would you like to touch again? Two fingers. Okay, let that get the camera. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, it's no. okay. We want to get your picture made. What, what you should do, you people should be behind her. They should be behind her. So now that's good. Her. That's good, right? Here. Touch now. You touch. That's good. You like the snake? Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And that this is why I don't, most of us who do birthday parties bring a small snake unless the child has asked for a bigger one. So that you can get used to a snake. Now, next time, if you touch a child, have you touched it out? <laughs>